The property tax cut stalemate continues at the state capitol. Today, members of the Senate refused to throw in the towel on the special session, even though House members technically ended it on Tuesday. Yeah, Fox's Rudy Kosky reports tonight that the governor says a deal will happen. Senate will come to order. Members of the Texas Senate returned from their Tuesday recess not to throw in the towel on debating a property tax cut deal, but to keep this one-sided special session essentially on life support. The chair recognizes Senator Hughes for a highly privileged motion. Thank you, Mr. President. I move the Senate adjourn until 6 p.m. Tuesday, June 6, pending the receipt of committee reports. Governor Greg Abbott, about an hour later, was at the Texas Public Policy Foundation. He also refused to declare the tax cut debate was dead and remained optimistic a deal will get done. We may be here a while. Abbott has already declared his support for the House plan with its across-the-board tax cap. He believes the idea will eventually lead to the elimination of all property taxes in Texas. We must go big. We must dream big. Dream the possibility that we can eliminate property taxes in Texas. You got to dream it and then you got to do it. Tuesday, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick was on the same stage promoting the Senate's plan that's focused more on expanding the homestead exemption. I can't imagine the governor will say to 5.7 million homeowners, you're not going to get a homeowner's exemption. On social media, Patrick continues to say that the governor's idea would cause a big sales tax hike and is not realistic. In response, Abbott Friday said the doubters fail to consider the growing Texas economy, and he believes it's strong enough to support the switch to a consumer-driven budget. What's going to happen with those savings? People are going to go out and buy more things where they're paying more sales taxes. None of those things have been put into the calculus of what should be put in there. But there's another factor, something I know that TPPF believes in, I believe pretty much everybody in this room believes in. Texas can and must find additional ways to cut spending wherever we can. Following bills and resolutions on first reading reference to committee. For now, the process under the Capitol Dome, according to political analysts, is all about preparing for a special session reports. reboot. That'll probably occur at some point in the next few weeks, and then they'll have another chance to come to a consensual agreement and provide a property tax relief that they agree Texans deserve. So they're trying to put a lot of things out there, maybe for special session two, that they could use to make some compromise deals. That was Rudy Kosky reporting, and the governor said he plans to call a special session to deal with his school choice idea. But before that happens, he wants to cut the tax deal, the tax cut deal.